up, y'all? You've asked for it. The old how-to for the trash can turkey. <laughs> so wait no longer, baby. All right, welcome to class. We'll go through this. So that way you can make your Thanksgiving turkey a lot better. Look, you know you've done it. You got the turkey going into the oil, burn the whole trailer part down. You got the in the oven and it comes out and the whole thing's just cooked way too much. Don't worry about that. That needs to be a thing of the past. Look, you got saved, you're new. You ain't like you used to be. So now you cook a turkey like Christians do. So go to your old Lowe's or home improvement place of store dumb, and buy a metal trash can, all right? Clean, don't use one out of the garage, Gary, all right? First you need to get yourself a bird, right here. And what you're gonna do is, ah. If you don't go to the old grocery and buy it, you're gonna kill it, all right? It's dead, it's gone, okay? I suggest going to the grocery store because you want whatever they're putting in them things to make that, that bad boy fat, all right? Then you have your old trash can, and then you have a fire. And that gives you the old holy goodness. This is what you want on Thanksgiving, especially this year. When everybody's busy talking politics and arguing with each other, yourself is just shut up over there by the chair eating this trash can turkey because there ain't no turkey like it. It's the old FB square, right? That is like fried, roasted, and baked. FB square is how this thing's gonna come out. So look. Let's run through it. What you will need is one wood steak. That's the wrong steak. One steak. Like that. Not a, you don't want a steak. It needs to be at least like one inch thick, 20 inches long. All right? It's gotta be able to, to hold that bad boy. 20 pounds of charcoal, remove all the crap from it. Take all the stuff out of the turkey, put it to the side. Take those giblets and goblets and such, and you can use that for gravy. You can make a mean gravy. Um, you can also, on the reel, get you like one of them 10 full container thingies, or two of them, and place it underneath the turkey and let it all drip in there, and then you can put that back on your cooked turkey. Um, you're gonna season it, and then you're gonna let it cure in the fridge overnight. All right, before you get started, you got your rub, all right? You're gonna rub this bad boy down with salt, pepper, garlic powder. I still don't know if it's thyme or thyme, thyme after thyme. Um, I've done this once, but I haven't done it a lot, but a lot of people use smoked paprika, oregano, rosemary, and a lot of butter. I mean a lot of butter. Melt that butter down, throw all the seasonings in it, and then rub that bad boy down. Rub it on the inside, rub it on the outside, throw it at it, pick it up. If you got a big enough container, just like spin that thing in there. Um, and then I usually inject it too with like the uh, Cajun butter. butter. Just give that thing, act like it's, you know, act like it's just sick as can be and you've got the saving shot and it needs a bunch of them. Just stab that bad boy and just psh, 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 all in it. Then you're gonna go outside the next day. Let it cure in the fridge overnight. You're gonna go outside. Make you a four foot circle and clear it. Get all the leaves, all the cigarette butts, all that stuff and make you a circle. It'll look like this with a steak in the middle. This is what it looks like right here with the steak going up. So you're gonna put your steak in the ground in the center of the circle, but you're gonna cover that circle with tinfoil. So put the tinfoil all around it on the ground. That's really gonna help because all the juices go everywhere. So you're gonna to wanna to help do that. Just go ahead and know, don't do this in your front yard because you just need to go ahead and know that a four foot circle is just gonna be gone. You're losing that. You're losing that, but hey, it's the Lord's work. All right. You're gonna put, golly, man. You're gonna put the steak in the ground 
not the stake from a cow. Put the stake in the ground in the center of that hole. Like just go and put your temple down and then put the stake in the ground. Have it sitting up like that. Hold in your turkey with the neck end at the top. You take the neck end of the turkey, you're going to put it on the stake. And just let that, you might have to maneuver it some with the neck bone and whatnot and just kind of get it where it don't fall or go straight through. And you don't want it to fall halfway through and you pull this trash can up and your stake, your turkey's on the ground. Then you're going to take the turkey and you put it on the stake. Make sure the bottom of the bird is at least six inches above the ground. So you want to make sure it's not just sitting on the ground, starts getting a little droopy, ends up on the ground, six inches above the ground on that stake. Place the trash can, like the bird, there's your bird right there. Place the trash can over the turkey, which is right there. Boom, bottom of the trash can is now up top. You know, like the first shall be last and the last shall be first is scriptural. Also the top of the trash can will now be the bottom. And so you flip that bad boy and you put the metal trash can over it. And then you take your coals and you place them around the bottom of the can. Um, I thought I put this on there. Oh, I missed it. Get your coals started. If you got one of them little thingy majigs, you can just get the coal started. Do that. Um, but if you got like a charcoal grill, since you're trying to get 20 pounds started, take the thing out and just throw it all on there and then get the charcoal started. You want to go ahead and have it almost purely white. All right. And then, uh, you're going to take the coal and place it around the bottom of the can. Look, here's what I do. I take extra tinfoil and like put it on the ground and going up the side of the trash can to try to keep every bit of air like from coming out of that trash can. And I put it up and then I lay the charcoal on that and then it helps kind of where I can like stack it up against the trash can. So you do all that and then save some and put it on the top of the trash can. Just pour a lot, get it heated from the top Got it heated from the bottom, the whole thing's heating up. It's gonna be about an hour and a half to two hours. If you have like one of them little string thermometers that hooks to your phone that you can put in there, that's gonna be a good idea. I messed up mine because I just let the metal trash can sit on top of it and it burned it. So you might wanna put something there. I don't know what you put, but you might wanna put something there. And then stab that boy in your turkey. That'll help because I'm gonna tell you this, once you take that trash can off, it's it's off. There ain't no closing it up. Because you got all this char 20 pounds of charcoal around the bottom and that, I mean, you can get it back on, but it's gonna be a job. And then uh, before you let it rest, let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes after it's done. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a shovel and knock the charcoal away from it and lift that thing up. Get somebody else to help you. Don't ask your grandma, Ask another like strong person, whoever he or she may be, and lift it up and you, because you don't want to let this thing drop sideways. You don't want to end up knocking your turkey over, it falling on the ground. Aunt Sally's mad. She's got her over there smoking a palm oil just yelling at you. You don't want none of that. So you're going to lift it and then take it over and put it down. Then with some gloves, take that turkey, take it inside, let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes, and then get your carbon. That, that right there will be the best turkey you have ever put in your mouth. I can promise you that. It will be FB squared, fried, roasted, and baked all at the same time. For the longest time, people tried to call that the Trinity. And then I said, get your life right. That's a close third. All right? Trash can turkey. This is how you do it. You can screenshot this. You can do whatever. But look. If you do a trash can turkey this year, you need to DM me, send me photos, send me videos of you and your family and your friends making a trash can turkey so I can see how good it was. And then if it looks really good, send me your address and I'll come over. Don't mail it to me. First time I did a trash can turkey, we we're still living in Nashville. I wanted my family down here to be able to taste it. So I put a couple legs in an envelope and then like just some cut up pieces poured the gravy on top and uh, it never made it. I think the post office people probably ate it. Um, but you know, there is uh, two, there is big discrepancies with people. Some people don't mind mail-in turkeys. Some people get really upset about mail-in turkeys. They say it'll never get there. 
And then some people are like, no, it'll get there. Just trust it. Who knows? You, you might, if you do a mail-in turkey, you might lose it. Somebody might eat it or it might make it there. I don't know. That's not for me to talk about with y'all. All I'm saying is follow your heart, follow the Lord, and get you some holy goodness on this Thanksgiving day. Happy Thanksgiving.